simply so what is happening we will just, just uh, see the animation give four seconds just change the frame to 40 just see the animation as you can see guys only driver pulley is rotating one thing we can observe that you know there is no uh, sufficient friction between uh, driver pulley and belt and that's why kind of sleeping is occurring there happening there okay okay since belt is not rotating so driven pulley will not rotate obviously so we'll try to see uh, okay what's the problem there i'll try to diagnose first i'll exit from here i'll go to the uh workbench platform let me exit from here okay so i'll call that geometry again i'll call that geometry again. same geometry i'm taking fully okay and i'll edit i'll go to the uh, space claim edit geometry in space claim uh, let the space claim open uh, there we'll try to see you know if there's a problem with the geometry then we'll check uh, in a mechanical window right first let me see is there any issue with the geometry or assembly so space claim is open yes so i'll check the diameter diameter uh, diameter of this driver pulley so diameter of the driver pulley radius of the driver pulley 34 mm just uh, hide this control h hide and this is 34.27 as you can see huh, there must be a bit gap <coughs> little bit gap since belt uh, curvature like uh, diameter is uh, sorry the radius 34.27 and driver pulley uh, radius is 34 mm right so there, there must be a gap i will check with the driven pulley as well so let's see 54 mm and i will check with the belt and it's 54.27 so there is a gap little bit so what we will do I'll just fill that gap not only gap I'll show you what we have to do right so it was 0.27 right so we have to provide little bit of interference interference fit right we have to go to the interference fit so it's 34.34 mm it was uh, in the uh, belt uh, radius was 34.27 so I'll put 34.3 okay so 0 0.03 will be the interference here also i will provide 54.3 m radius okay now i will go back to the mechanical window first let me close this space claim i link that uh, transient structural module again i will open transient module mechanical window so we will wait for a while let the mechanical window open now i will follow the same process let the assembly come it is not loaded uh, fully uh, let it it is getting loaded it is being loaded we have the assembly right so again i'll follow, follow the same process first i'll go with the sizing so i'll give uh, body sizing 5 mm like earlier and let's select all i'll go with the method multi zone method select multi zone i think here multi zone will be taken it should take multi zone for all the parts yeah it's taken since we change little bit right <coughs> also surface no there is no yeah there is a single surface okay single surface that's why taken uh, multi zone message properly with a better quality element uh, it's created generated now i'll go with the contacts so contact is already created by default 
so i'll just change uh, change it to frictional i am going with 0.8 now since we are taking i'll check here the material since we are taking you know structural steel for all the parts and if you if you guys check then the frictional coefficient between two steel uh, parts must be like you know 0.8 right and i told you uh, in the uh, i told you that why the what why we are not getting the exact results why because the frictional coefficient is not sufficient between two parts two surface uh, belt surface and that driver pulley surface that's why increase to 0.8 and this is the value actual value between uh, steel material to steel material so i have changed it to 0.2 to 0.8 earlier i took i take uh, i took 0.2 right so here is a bit changes in the in this uh, mechanical part now i'll go with the uh, number of steps so 50 i'll change this time to sub steps okay uh, let's select all the steps select all the steps i'll go with the one 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 and then one okay fine i think everything is set up only we have to give the joints so let's select a regular joint again i'll no need to try just select this one another regular joint body to ground regular joint and we'll provide the load in the driver pulley so drag and drop here in the transient joint load okay in the dialog box change this type to rotational velocity and in magnitude we'll go with the tabular data tabular time let's select the tabular time tabular data here for first second we'll give 0 0.001 and last step for 50 seconds i'll give 0 0.05 right the same process I'll, i'm following the same i'm uh, you know feeding the same data i feel i took earlier i think everything is set up loading and boundary condition everything is set up i will solve again let's right click hit the solve button so solving is started we'll wait for few minutes let it solve so 87 percent is completed so what we what we observed in the earlier video like earlier uh, earlier simulation uh, where we didn't get the exact results what we are expecting okay so we have made a few <coughs> two changes right one in the assembly level we provided the interference one in the uh, friction values we have changed uh, we have increased the friction values to 0 0.8 right so we have made two changes uh, let's see uh, what is the outcome we are getting hope uh, we'll get the results right i think 99 percent is completed we are almost there okay yeah it's completed we'll see the results total deformation right click on total deformation evaluate all results okay oh great great so as you can see here as you can see here uh, we have we got the results right as you can see and since uh, i have solved only for the 50 seconds if you want to see guys you know the uh, like complete rotation you know proper rotation then you can go with the 100 seconds so i'll just play the animation it should rotate all the you know, both the pulleys Yes, as you can see, both the pulleys are rotating properly. There is no issue with the results, right? So, I think this will be helpful if you get this type of problem while you are solving your analysis, uh, like analysis problem. If you get the same issues, then how to rectify, how to diagnose, and what are the changes you need to make? You understood? Okay. So thank you very much and all the best.